What's up everyone, yesterday I posted a video about a triple dragon team in the retro cup and it turned out that I wasn't the only one that figured out how strong dragons are in that format as I faced a ton of double dragon teams as well as several other triple dragon teams. So after I was done running my own triple dragon, I figured let's switch it up and let's counter those dragons with an anti-dragon squad featuring Dragon Tail Milotic and I shard Dugong. Dugong, definitely a beast versus the triple dragon teams, especially. And Malolic, just a very flexible Pokemon, doing that super effective dragon tail damage on the dragons and being able to hit other Pokemon with Surf and Hyper Beam. Very fun Pokemon. And I figured with the amount of dragons I was seeing in the sets before, this team would be incredible. So I go into match number one, and what do I face? A Macargo? This is a Pokemon that's incredibly weak to dragons, except for like Altaria, because of course Altaria has a flying typing, and it's also like it's good versus Altaria, and it's also quite good versus Dugong as well. And then they have Superior too. Like a what? These two Pokemon get owned by dragons. If I was still running my Triple Dragon Squad, this would be the easiest clap of my life. Easy win, but. Oh, yeah, I switch it up, so... And this this theme went on for this first whole set. The first dragon type I end up facing is gonna be in battle number 5, by the way. But regardless, this team still worked okay. This team still worked okay, and in set number 2 I actually went 5-0. I actually faced very little uh, dragons in set number 2 as well. But uh, some, and the team still did okay. So, uh, I think... I think this is a team I can recommend for sure. If you're facing more dragons than I did, it's gonna do even better. So, yeah, I think it's definitely an okay team. I also have Jellicent in the back, by the way. If I was still running Triple Dragon, this would have been awesome. I was I was losing my mind, honestly. I was doing these battles during my live stream as well on Twitch. I live stream every day, uh, every evening, actually, from 8 p.m. my time, which is Central European uh, time. 8 p.m. my time until, like, 10 p.m. my time, Central European time again. Uh, except for the evening I'm uploading this at, because I'll be at Stuttgart for the Pokemon Go Regional Championship there, so... That weekend, I won't be live streaming, but on most other days, weekends, I, I should be live. Anyway, Shellison, I would have destroyed this with Triple Dragon, and ugh, man, I was just, I was just losing my mind, honestly, because this is honestly uh, the ridiculous team for the Retro Cup because there are so many dragons, right? I think so. Yeah, the game's over. I end up going for Icy Wind here. I mean, just a bait. They're gonna shield, hoping they somehow don't throw their attack. Can I get to a Wall Blast? But no. All things considered, though, I made this kind of close. I made this kind of close. GG. All right, next match, Skeledurge. This is what I like to see. Though, this is, like, probably the worst fire type I can see, because I do have this arming voice. Um, they don't end up, end up throwing it immediately, so I can go for Sky Attack. And now I'm going to try to catch their attack on my Lodic, which I do. Incredible, incredible. Likely going to be a disarming voice, but no. Oh, it is disarming voice. I think they also have Crunch, which you can see. And then Trevenant comes out. Like, Trevenant? What? What, dude? What? By the way, I don't believe in any sort of algorithm or something that's designed to keep people at 50% win rates by feeding them hard counters when they're doing too good or something. I don't think that's actually a thing. I think this is just a random probability. You know, sometimes you're just gonna end up in a streak of being hard countered because that's how probability works if you play enough matches eventually you're gonna have a streak of bad counters and you're also gonna have a streak of good matchups so that's just how it how it goes in random matchmaking at least that's what i think if you believe in an algorithm honestly i don't care like believe in that it doesn't bother me i just don't think uh, that's the case anyway Another team, by the way, that would have just... Triple Dragon would have done so good against. <laughs> would have been so well. Would, would, have, would have done so well. So, yeah. I'm just, again, I was kind of losing my mind. Uh, this should still be fine, though, I believe. As I may be able to... Oh, they get the defense drop. Yeah. And because of that defense drop, the Shadow Ball is gonna knock me out. Oh, man, this game can be so annoying. Another Skeletor's lead. Another Skeletor's lead. Um, 
Oh, freaking crunch Skeletor to defense drop. Crazy. All right, we're going to play it similarly. This time, Shearing Disarming Voice. Ooh, a little stutter. Game isn't quite stuttery as well. Going to go for the Sky Attack and then try to catch the next Disarming Voice on my Melodic again. I actually let that go. So I switch, and I don't even throw their attack, which is wild. Now I just get a free Dragon Tail down. And it's again a Lantern! What is Lantern doing here, dude? It's a Dragon meta. I, I, am I crazy? I don't think Lantern is good here. We're literally in a Dragon meta. Right? I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm the crazy one. I am starting to think I'm the crazy one. Let that go. Look at that beam go, though. Look at that beam go. Very nice. Okay. This next attack go. Uh, it knocks out. But at this point, I can easily farm out with Dugong even. I farm out with Dugong, because if they stay with Lantern, now I can just get a free icy wind on whatever's in the back, and it's like <laughs> one of the biggest score breakers to my team. <laughs> I'm almost though. Wow. Uh, but luckily, uh, to the back. I see wind did. They actually let it go, which is interesting. I mean, I guess they're on a, a save issue for a potential sky attack. You said they have some energy on Old Haria all that already. So, makes some sense. But at this point, I just fast attack everything down. I'm just going to go for another icy wind. I don't think that was necessary at all, but I guess now we're debuffing the power stone damage. You want to let this go too? Because at this point, Dragon Breath will do a lot, right? So, yeah, I actually have icy wind, which is interesting. Very interesting. Um, I guess it works. I'm still not too sure what's the way to go on Bomb Snow, to be honest. I feel like Weather Ball is the way just because you're a little spammier. But Icy Wind definitely has some play to for dropping your opponent's attack. Not going to be very impactful here, though. Okay, Man Team. This is, this is tough because Man Team does have Ice Beam. Uh, they get to Ice Beam on the seventh wing attack. So I, try, I attempt to catch it on my Melodic Air, but unfortunately they end up baiting. Which is still fine, doesn't do that much. Out comes another lantern. <laughs> I don't get it, dude. I don't I don't get it. I mean lantern's a good Pokemon, but it's not not good for this meta, right? They end up letting me get to the hyper beam, which is just awesome. Hopefully let that get this go, but they shield it up. Unfortunately. But still, I've get, gotten a shield here with my Lolic. I can bring out Altaria now. Uh shoot up this attack, because definitely gotta be a Thunderbolt. And I wanna keep my Altaria kind of healthy. Go for the Moomblast. This should take out the Lantern if they let it go. And then I have a very healthy Altaria on Dugong for whatever they have left. Oh yeah, it's a Mantine still. I'm gonna try to catch the next attack on my Dugong. Oh, and we do. Big. Hopefully not a bait again. Ice Beam will be sick. It is the Ice Beam. Let's go. Out comes Vagoroth. We are triple hard countered here. Mantine with Ice Beam against my Altaria. Lantern versus my Melodic. Dugong versus Vigoroth, but I do think there's still a play here. Dugong's a beast, gets to the Icy Wind. Should be able to take this Rock Slide. If I can get to another Icy Wind, I'm looking very good here. One, two, three. I get there. Dugong gets to the Icy Wind. Drops Vigoroth's attack once again. It's just huge. Now I should be able to just uh, Dragon Breath this down. They are double debuffed, so no point in shooting these. I want to save a shield for potential Ice Beam from Mantine. And now that the figure is double debuffed, a Body Slams or Rock Slide won't do that much. It can just be a Rock Slide, so, or, or a Body Slam, I mean. So I let it go. Farm down. Actually, I switched out. Out comes Mantine. I'm gonna shield the first attack. Go for my Moonless now. I don't think Moonless knocks out quite yet, but should do enough to where I can uh, Dragon Breath down before they can get to another area ways. Moonblast takes out the Mantine. Out comes Vigoroth. Dragon Breath down. GG. Pretty much hard counter. We still won that. Okay. First dragon. And I completely mess up. <laughs> I was so mad this entire set. I was not facing any dragons with my anti dragon team. And the first dragon I face is Arctabax. And I I pulled the wrong counter swap. You have to go Milotic there. You have to go Milotic. Because Milotic is doing super effective with Dragon Tails. Whereas. Dugong was only doing neutral, like, Artifacts is a fine matchup here. Still, I felt like I was fine here, because I should be able to fully farm this down before they get to another Dragon Claw. Never mind. <laughs> oh, I messed this up so hard. I messed this up so hard. Out comes, uh, Deoxys now. Yeah, yeah, we'll go, just go for Icy Wind. Uh, debuff him. I still have, I still have ult for the Deoxys, which is great. As long as you don't have Rock Slide, it's a good matchup. How comes Dugong, though? Oh, this is not great to face when they have a shield advantage. Go for the Sky Attack here. 
Bring out my Lodic. This is uh, this is this is a fine matchup. They have a shield, so this is gonna be kind of bait dependent. Should be able to take two drones though. I do. This point, it's gonna come down to a bait call. I feel like surf baiting here is so obvious. That I'm just gonna go for the hyper beam, open the let go, but they shoot it up. Had I surf baited, I think I may have had a chance there. But actually, I think they would. No, they still would have had pace to double drill run. So I think I lose either way, unless this does not. Actually. Yeah, surf baiting would have won me this game. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. What would have also won me this game is if I just brought out my Lodic versus Arctopax. And then I would have had... Wouldn't be shields down and would have my own Dugong versus their Dugong. It would have been all good, but... Yeah, that, that, I didn't do that, so it is what it is. Okay, Lantern. Out comes Jump Love, which is just wild. Jump Love? Crazy. Oh, this is set number two, by the way. Negative, se ne negative first set, but now, I mean, it's not spoiled. I already told you, it's going to be a 5 0. These are going to be some good, some good battles. We're going to see some dragons, hopefully. Jump left, pretty fine for Dugong. Uh, so, I shoot at first energy ball, though, because that, that one does the most, but the next one, you don't have to shoot, because they're debuffed. Doesn't do, well, it does a decent chunk, but not that much. Now we can get go for the next Icy Wind. If they want to shoot this, that's, that's fine. I can just shoot as well, and uh, I shut down, but they don't shoot this. Which is great. Dugong now has a little bit of energy and enough health to probably get to an attack versus the Lantern. I decided to go for the draw run. I thought I may be able to reach another one. But maybe I should have Icy Winded. Because if I Icy Winded, I think I dropped their Spark damage. And I might have been able to get to another attack. I just I'd go down with it, unfortunately. But it's still fine. They now have uh, Frostlass versus Milotic. Which is great. Melodic is is really cool Pokemon here because it's it's like an ice counter and a dragon counter. Not all ices, of course. The dual goal matchup, as we just saw, is kind of iffy. A boom of snow, you're gonna get hit by an energy ball. But when we're talking like Frostlass, you're uh, you're looking pretty good there. And even versus like Dugong and a boom of snow, you have a lot of play for sure. So uh, that's why I like my Melodic quite a bit. It, it pairs nicely with Altaria, I do believe. Over farm here a little bit. Get rid of the Frost Slash. I'm still kind of worried because the Lantern can farm now my Melodic at this point. And it's just has so much energy loaded from Altaria. Altaria, super tanky though. This is why I run Altaria over something like Dragonite. Because Altaria just has so much more bulk. Can actually take two Thunderbolts here. So, first Thunderbolt, we let go. Second one, I mean, we don't have any shields. We have to let it go. Altaria eats it up. Gets to the Sky Attack. Takes out the Lantern. That's a GG. Don't know Lantern, guys. Don't know. I can't. Lantern is good into this team, but I wasn't expecting to see Lantern in a meta filled with, like, Dragonairs and Hakamos and Dragons, you know? Okay, another Mantine. Again, we switch on the 7th wing attack, try to catch against an area. I promise this is not a replay, even though my opponent, again, has Lantern. I think this is just the same team. Going to my Lolic. Bring out Lantern. Again, why are people throwing Lantern? I don't get it. I don't get it. They throw an attack, I just let it go. It's being surf. Milotic! Super tanky. Actually super tanky. Takes that surf, gets to the hyper beam. Does a ton of damage versus the lantern. That's so sick. That's so sick. You'll have to see that. Okay, bring in Altaria now. I have a move loaded already, which is nice. I'm gonna take this Thunderbolt. I need to save shields for that Mantine, because I don't want to get ice beamed. Mantine comes in. I'm gonna throw the sky attack here. Gotta try to catch the next attack. Oh my deal gone. One, two, three, and switch. And they don't throw, which is unfortunate. Out comes Vigroth. It's the same team we faced earlier. This we'll wait a video about this. I actually do kind of like this team. As far as Lantern teams go, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Because Mantine and Vigroth are very good in this meta. And can definitely support Lantern enough against the dragon types, I would think. Um uh, to wild team though. To face. I don't like it. I, I, I don't like to face it. I don't like the team. Anyway, they just let Vigroth go, and then they try to put it all on Mantine, which I think is a big mistake. I think it's a big mistake. Because they're not going to reach three area. Actually, I think they reached three area oases, but they're not going to reach double area ace Ice Beam. So I just shield there. I know there's going to be a bait, but I may as well shield, because I don't think they're going to get the double area ace Ice Beam. So I shield both baits. This is another attack, but this cannot be Ice Beam. Ice Beam is... Much more, 15 energy more expensive than area waste. They were not there. We drag a breath down. GG. Oh no. The core breaker. Bring out my Lodic. 
Because it does do decent fast attack damage. And they bring out... Altaria? They don't know. They don't seem to be aware of the power of Milotic. Actually, Milotic is a Dragon Answer, but it's not like super good as a Dragon Answer. I do win zeros here, but they end up shooting. That means the Altaria farms me down. But it's okay, we got shield advantage. I can now farm down this Altaria with my own Altaria, get close to a Sky Attack, and maybe fire that off versus the Abomas Snow later. So I'm not feeling too bad about this. Uh, once the Bolso comes back in, I'm going to try to catch a Weather Ball on my Dugong. And if I can do that, I'm in a good spot. One, two, three, they're at five now. Try to catch Weather Ball, which is at five. But unfortunately, they don't fall for it. They farm up way past an Energy Ball. So I'm thinking there's no way they bait. They bait. Actually, I was kind of expecting a bait. But if they bait it, I wasn't expecting a double bait. Because that's a bit too ballsy. So, And then I figured that I should be able to get to the second Icy Wind before they get to the second Energy Ball. So that's why I just double shield. So that worked. Now I'm going to wait a turn, because I didn't want them to catch an attack, which I did try. And out comes Dragonair. Honestly, if I just threw the Icy Wind into that, it would have been fine as well. So I do that now. And now we can farm down, have an attack loaded for the Bomb of Snow. I know they're just about like one away from the Energy Ball now. So I'm actually going to be a bit cheeky. And it's time to catch! But unfortunately, they, 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 I think they, they might have saw it coming, or they just didn't throw their attack. And now they get a weather ball off on my, on my Altaria, but it doesn't matter. I still have the Icy Wind on Dugong, so it's all good. GG. That's how you beat the hardest core breaker to your team. Let's go. Okay, a load of Marak. This is awesome. Akumo. Oh, we're seeing dragons. We're seeing dragons. This game is unlosable now. It's unlosable. See dragons? Unlosable game. Unlosable game. Brick break. Hakamo is player though, as you can see. Go for the Icy Wind. I don't think this knocks out yet. I think they may even get to another Brick Break. Right? Let's see. Oh, they don't. <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, that's not a great matchup for Akamo, obviously. Akamo's Marowak now. Again, this is a scenario where I thought I might still get the two attacks. So I actually just go straight up for the Druin. But unfortunately, two, three, four. Five fire spins knock me out exactly and don't get there. Again, probably Icy Winding was just the way there. Because even if they no shield, you still get to another attack anyway. So, yeah. That's fine. Out comes Arctabax now. I have my Lodic for this. This is a great matchup. This is a really great matchup. I'm going to shield up the first Raren Crawl. Because I know I can uh, shoot one, take one, farm all the way down, and have double serve loaded for the Lolo Marowak at this point. If you were to face the Arctabax like a switching scenario, I'm pretty sure it can surf and, dra and drag and tail down before they get the double dragon claw. So that makes my Lodic a pretty good answer there. Out comes Alora Marowak, double surf loaded. First one coming through, second one. Don't think quite knocks out because Alora, Mar Alora Marowak is quite tanky, even a shadow. But uh, yeah, one dragon tail does the job, GG. That's some good Malok action, Dragalgy lead. This is, this is pretty good for Altaria. As it takes Dragalgy 7 Dragon Tails, that's 21 turns, to get to an Outrage. And it takes Altaria 17 turns to get to a Sky Attack. Oh, you get there earlier. This... Wait. Would that have been an Outrage? I think it could have been. So I shoot it up, but it was just an Aqua Tail. Out comes Kingdra now, which... This smells like Triple Dragon. I think we're finally seeing Triple Dragon. Shield the Outrage. Luckily, that wasn't Octazuka. That would have been painful. They're... Oh, yeah. They're one away from eight, which is an Aqua Tail. I should just throw my Serve immediately. But I knew that Aqua Tail was not going to knock me out either, so this is still not too bad. Go for the Serve now. I, I The reason I threw a Dragon Tail there as well, because I was expecting them to come in with something other than the Dragology, to be honest. It is Triple Dragon, by the way. Gudra comes out. This will do Boom for, but this... Gudra is interesting because it has power up. But luckily... Dugong outpaces to the Icy Wind. This will make it so that the Power Rip will definitely knock, not knock out my Dugong. And I should be looking pretty good at this point. We can just Ice Shard down all the way now. Power Whip comes through. Brings me to the red, but again, doesn't do enough. Ice Shard down. Ooh, they get to a Muddy Water. Interesting, interesting. Still have Altaria though. But we're not using Altaria for this. We're using the Anti-Dragon. Milotic, Dragon Tail down. GG Gudra. That was the final battle. Finally, after 10 battles, I managed to find that triple dragon I was so desperately hunting for. And beating that felt great. So 
yes, this is definitely a team I could recommend if you are seeing a lot of dragons. If you are seeing a lot of dragons, this team should work amazing. So, but if you're not, like I was, you're gonna have a little more trouble. But it still did well. All things considered, with the teams I was facing, I think the team did quite well. So, I can definitely recommend it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Good luck with your battles, trainers.